Hi guys. All right. It is the 4th of July, baby. It is the 4th of July. And uh, your old uh, vacation rental super host has a full house tonight. So I have been banished to this old trailer, which used to have the name of... Uh, Maggie May for some reason. I don't think the trailer is called Maggie May anymore. But uh anyway, so this is my my first night of uh you know not being able to doom scroll. Uh not being able to doom scroll, you know, I have uh, put this uh, I'm starting this experiment. I am now about 15 hours into it. I have not doom scrolled for 15 hours. <clears throat> um, so anyway, I, I would like to report that I have not exactly been on a date, but this this very nice, well, she's half my age, uh, normy woman at the vacation rental place uh staying here tonight and uh just traveling by herself and so i invited her uh to join me for the lightning bug show that uh is peaking probably tonight we say the fourth of july is the peaking so uh you know i asked her if she was planning to go to any of the big fireworks events anywhere and she said she has never had any interest in fireworks. And so I said, well, we have our own fireworks show. So we went on a 30-minute lightning bug walk down the road. And uh, she pronounced at the end of it, that was the most outrageous wildlife show she has ever seen in her entire life that she had no idea that anything like this existed on the planet walking down the road. So that was my exciting night. And I have been enjoying a lightning bug show with this normie young woman. Uh, I don't know. I guess she's probably a Gen Z or uh I guess I kind of brushed up against the insect apocalypse. I just can't help myself. And she seemed totally shocked to hear about the insect apocalypse. And I quickly changed the subject. Uh, it, 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 it's just so natural for doomers you know we're, we're in here in one of the greatest insect shows on the planet surrounded by thousands and thousands and thousands of lightning bugs and uh I, i'm sitting there uh bumming her out talking about the insect apocalypse i you know i've just got to learn we all do just to shut the fuck up about it okay just stop bumming people out that's your damn insect apocalypse. So, you know, I, I've been thinking, obviously, one of the major things I've been thinking about here on the 4th of July uh, today is uh, about doom scrolling, the addiction to doom scrolling. And when is it okay to stop doom scrolling when when can you finally say to hell with it <coughs> i am done with doom scrolling and so uh i've been wrestling around with this question and i i guess the answer is when you can finally stop doom scrolling about how fuck we are <coughs> is it, it, it depends a lot on how deeply you have dug into the Doomer onion, the uh, how fucked we are onion. So uh, there, there, there's several levels. I, I mean, obviously, you, you, you have to learn 
that we are fucked. Uh, you can't stop doom scrolling uh, and, and, and until you understand that we're fucked. But but even apocaloptimists understand that we're fucked. I, I mean, it, it's a you, you, you've got to start somewhere from being a clueless fucking moron normie knowing nothing about, you know what I'm saying, uh, being completely oblivious to the state of the planet, uh, your participation in that, your inability to do anything about it, but you've got to start somewhere and it's more and more the mainstream media is a pretty good place to start. Uh, a hell of a lot more than it was when I went down this rabbit hole 15 years ago. So just spend some time on the mainstream media. Uh, so first, so if you are new to the Doomosphere, all well, my first advice is get the fuck out of here and remain a clueless fucking moron normie for the rest of your life because there's nothing in it to recommend it. So if you're brand new to the Doomosphere and you haven't even figured out that we're fucked, I want you to turn around right now and get the fuck out of here. Okay. If, 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 if anyone tuning into a channel called Collapse Chronicles is still a clueless fucking moron normie, uh, and, and judging by a couple of comments I've received just today, there are still some clueless fucking moron normies uh, uh, coming upon the, this channel. So you get the fuck out of here now to save yourself. But, you know, if you're deep enough into the Doomosphere to even have stumbled on to a channel called Collapse Chronicles... <clears throat> and you are not convinced that we're fucked, then obviously you need to keep doom scrolling. I mean, it, 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 I, mean I had to doom scroll. It used to be a hell of a lot harder to doom scroll when I went down this rabbit hole in 2008. Doom scrolling was a much bigger challenge. You, you had to work hard to doom scroll in 2008. So every passing day, at least your job does get easier and easier and easier uh, to doom scroll. The, you, you know, the more and more and more uh, that we're doomed, the, the deeper we're fucked every day. Uh, it, 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 it's going to get easier to doom scroll and it's actually going to get harder to avoid doom scrolling. We're, we haven't quite reached that inflection point where, it, it, you know what I'm saying, it, it, where it's going to be harder to avoid doom scrolling than it is easy to doom scroll. Although we're, we're, we're getting damn close. Uh, an unbelievable amount of progress we've made for, for doom scrollers. Uh, from 2008, where you had to work, I mean, you really had to dig deep to find one mention uh, of, of the fact that we're fucked. So, it is getting easier, and within the next three years, and, and, and some of this is dependent upon whether Donald Trump, well, whether, I mean, it, it is going to get a lot easier to doom scroll after uh, November of 2024, there's going to be a major avalanche of doom scrolling. So somewhere in the next Donald Trump administration, it's going to get harder to avoid doom scrolling then it is easy to doom scroll now. So we can thank Donald Trump for that. So that's the, that, that's the first assignment, is understanding that we're fucked. So at least become an apocaloptimist. This is just the way that most of us go in the doomosphere. So once you become a, an apocaloptimist, you're on your way. So you do understand that we are fucked. 
but then you have to go to the next layer of the onion where you understand that there's not a fucking thing that you can do about it in your individual uh, lifetime, uh, lifestyle and consumer choices with the possible exception of uh, not breeding, otherwise known as keeping your pecker in your pants and not letting your knickers down it is the only tiny shred of this word agency. So first, you have to understand two things, that there's not a goddamn thing you can do about it, but breeding is the absolute antithesis. It, it, it's, so there, 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 there's nothing you can do about it to change the trajectory, but you need to understand that bringing a child onto the planet in the year 2024 from here on out is the single most the single the single most clueless ignorant thing that you can do anybody bringing a child onto this planet and in the year 2024 is not a doomer and i don't even think is an apocaloptimist. You are still in the clueless fucking moron stage. If if you are a recent breeder or are thinking about breeding, if, if anywhere, and if you have one, one good lord, uh, just just sell in your body still entertaining the thought that you are going to bring a fucking child onto this planet, you clueless fucking moron. You need to do a shitload more doom scrolling. Okay? You need to mainline doom. Okay? Tell you forever drive that fantasy out of your head and get down and get yourself sterilized. <clears throat> so, if you have the ability to be a breeder and you have not gotten yourself sterilized as I did at 22, you are not ready to stop doom scrolling. You need to keep doom scrolling. But I'll kind of get back to this subject in a in, in, in a few minutes. I'm kind of getting my ahead of myself. But but anyway, you you have to learn that there's not a goddamn thing that you're gonna do about it. That any fucking politician, whatever, any techno utopian, if you're still clinging to this to this absolutely ridiculous belief that technology is going to turn this train around at this point, uh, you still need to keep doom scrolling. And doom scrolling and doom scrolling until you eventually figure out it ain't gonna happen. Now, I do encourage you to listen to my Friday night rants, my AGH, my ain't gonna happen rants. I, I think I had a pretty good one last Friday. I, I, I'm still gonna have my AGH rant tomorrow it's going to be kind of a short one i guess because you understand i already had some things preloaded in the pipeline mostly from medium.com that i already had ready for that rant before i decided to stop doom scrolling so you understand that anything you hear in the agh rant tomorrow night i had already read before I stopped doom scrolling. So I've been let that one go, but I highly suggest you uh, uh, l listen to my ain't 
gonna happen rants. Okay, you, you need to drive every shred of hopium that we're going to get out of this situation completely out of your head. you, you got to completely divorce yourself from the idea of hopium. You have got to eliminate hopium from your life. It's not as important as eliminating any chance of breathing out of your life. That's the most important thing is to get yourself sterilized and eliminate any chance of, uh, of committing the most vile act that, that a human can commit, which is breeding. Sounds like I'm getting a phone call. I'm going to ignore that phone call. Uh, so, uh, this leads into this uh, term you're going to hear a more and more about as more and more people get here. And, and this is a major milestone into being able to stop doom scrolling and getting on with your life. Okay, and that is what the term radical acceptance. Despite what one of these uh, th these little uh, nitpickers can't remember his name over at, uh, at medium.com has been harping and harping on, it's the new definition of radical acceptance. Basically, <clears throat> it's just accepting it. Accepting the fact <clears throat> that we are fucked and accepting the fact that there's not a fucking thing that you, anybody else, uh, it, it, any group of people, any movement of people, what is uh, Guy McPherson's new one? The what? What is it? Collective human intelligence. Uh, if you are still clinging to the notion that uh, collective human intelligence is going to get us out of the problem, that you know that three hundred thousand years of collective human stupidity has brought us to. You are a clueless fucking moron, and you have to keep doom scrolling till you understand that the very notion of collective human intelligence is a hilarious oxymoron. Okay? No such thing as collective human intelligence doesn't exist. So anyway, once you radically accept you are fucked, if you were stupid enough to have a fucking kid, your kid is more fucked than you are. Your grandchildren are fucked. Everyone you know and love is fucked. Uh, the global industrial civilization is fucked. Uh, human, the, the human race is fucked. All of our fellow earthlings on the planet are fucked. Uh, and, and you radically accept that, then you're damn close <clears throat> to being able to stop doom scrolling and moving on with your life. Now, <clears throat> kind of built into that is uh, you need to understand that civilization particularly global industrial civilization, but civilization on any form, it, is, it, it needs to go. Anybody still clinging to the notion that we can save civilization, you need to keep doom scrolling. But if you still think that saving global industrial civilization is a worthy goal. 
you need to keep doom scrolling till it gets through your, your, your clueless fucking brain that civilization is the uh, not the biggest threat to the planet, but it is uh, certainly a much bigger threat to the planet than that little piker climate change. Climate change is one symptom of civilization. So first you got to understand that we can't save civilization and then you got to dig a little bit deeper and understand we don't want to save civilization. Civilization needs to go. So you're getting really, really close. You understand that civilization needs to go. You have, you, you have sterilized yourself. Uh, you have radically accepted that we are fucked. There's not a goddamn thing to do about it. You're getting goddamn close to being able to give up doom scrolling. You have one more, one more layer of the onion. <clears throat> and that is to understand that certainly, as I say, climate change is not the problem. Climate change is a problem and that civilization is not the problem. That global industrial civilization is not the problem. This is where I'm, I'm, I am working on my, since Book Hermit will not let me, uh, will, will, will not let me uh, interview him. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what is going on in Book Hermit's head. So I will have a, a full rant on this. But I think where Book Hermit is, is one step away from me. That Book Hermit understands that global industrial civilization needs to go and that global industrial civilization is a bigger threat to the planet than climate change so we need enough climate change and enough warming to bring global industrial civilization to an end and but again i'm going to talk about this more but but, but book hermit i don't think i don't think that book hermit has taken the final step to where he can free himself from uh, from doom scrolling there is one more step and that of course is to become an eco nazi the definition of an eco nazi is pretty simple that the problem on the planet is humans. The problem on the planet is not climate change, for goddamn sure. The problem on the planet is not global industrial civilization. It's not capitalism. It's not war. The problem on the planet is not even too many people. That is a problem. That's a huge problem. I'm repeating myself. Anyone who listened to my soft white underbelly interview was the main point I'm trying to drive home. The problem on the planet is humans. And so if the problem on the planet is humans, there is one solution to the problem, and that is the final solution, and that is to get humans off the planet. And uh, once you understand that the problem on the planet is not going to be solved until every single human on the planet is gone. You need to keep doom scrolling. 
So this is why, you know, I have reached the point where I can stop doom scrolling. But now it's just, you know, it, it, it took me how many years of doom scrolling to get here. So I don't know what to do with my fucking self since my entire life has been devoted to doom scrolling. But so what, uh, where am I after being down this rabbit hole since 2008? Well, I got sterilized in 1982. So I already got rid of that one. So I'm sterilized. I have never had a child, never will have a child, which of course would have been the biggest fucking mistake I ever made in my life. And, and the corollary to that is getting my vasectomy is the single greatest decision that I ever made, hands down, bar none. My decision not to be a breeder was the best decision I ever made. So that one's covered. Uh, I, uh, I understand that we're fucked. I understand that there's not a goddamn thing I am going to do about it in my consumer and lifestyle choices. I did the one thing I could do, which was to get myself sterilized before I brought another human onto the planet. So, I, uh, I understand we're fucked. I understand that uh, there's nothing we can do about it. I have radically accepted the fact that we are fucked, uh, that there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, I got myself sterilized, and uh, I understand that global civilization needs to go, that, that any form of civilization needs to go, and I've taken the final step I understand on a cellular level that the problem on this planet is humans and that humans need to go. <clears throat> so, <coughs> so what possible purpose does doom scrolling served in my life. It serves no purpose. It has, from here on out, my doom scrolling has served its purpose. It served its purpose. So there's, there's no point in, in me just, just continuing uh, doom scrolling, I guess it's because I have a, a goddamn YouTube channel called Collapse Chronicles where I'm, I'm just chronicling the collapse, which is another way of saying doom scrolling is chronicling the collapse. So I guess it's going to be tough to continue a channel called Collapse Chronicles and no longer chronicling the collapse. But there, 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 there's nothing more, there is nothing left for anybody to say to me, any opinion, any hard data, whatever, uh, to convince me any more than I'm already convinced that we're fucked, not going to do anything about it, radically accept the fact, uh, and understand uh, that humans are the problem and humans need to go. There, there's not a, there, there, there's, there's nothing else that needs to be said to me, a and there's nothing else that can be said to me. <clears throat> so, if you are not on my page, you need to keep doom scrolling. And eventually, the more I've been doom scrolling since 2008. I've been doom scrolling for 16 fucking years. Like my buddy Elliot Jacobson, uh, he's been doom scrolling. How many years? He, you know, he's like the, the new kid on the block. 
Uh, and, and he's not quite where I am, but I think that Elliot Jacobson, brother, I think you are going to get to my point. And it's not going to take you 16 years. But uh, this is the reason that there's no point in me doom scrolling. It, it serves no purpose in my life except to support a channel called uh, Collapse Chronicles. So, uh, day one, I'm going to wrap up day one and wake up tomorrow morning on the 5th of July, which is, you know, one of my favorite days of the year to doom scroll because I love to get up on July 5th and read all the reports of clueless fucking morons who blew their hands off with fireworks the night before. Um, so I, I'm, I guess I'm going to miss the yearly... Uh, clueless fucking morons blowing themselves up with fireworks, which always uh, starts off July 5th with a big smile on my face. I'll have to think of something else to put a smile on my face tomorrow. But anyway, so uh, that's where I am at the end of day one. I will keep you posted as my doom scrolling hiatus rolls into day two. Get out there and doom scroll until you don't need to doom scroll anymore. And then we'll figure out what to do with your life next. Life after doom scrolling. What the fuck does life after doom scrolling look like? When you've devoted 16 years of your life to doom scrolling, this is the question that I need to be working on. What the fuck do I do with my life if not doom scrolling? I'll see what answers I come up with. Bye, guys. Yes, little dog. Are you doom scrolling? He said, Bob, would you turn that light off? Here is my life. Who needs to doom scroll? And all you gotta do is look at your fucking life. Bye, guys.